with all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment. You're watching the Boone TV Buzz, Iowa's most watched high school news show. Hello Boone High and welcome back to the Boone TV Buzz. Thank you for joining us for this week's news show where we will be bringing you all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment from this past week. Let's take a look at what has BHS buzzing. Boone TV newcomer Hannah Good has a look at one of the new faces here in the math department. Here's more on Mrs. Krogh. There are so many new teachers this year at Boone High School. One of these new teachers is in the ninth grade academy. Miss Krogh is teaching algebra and geometry. I don't think it makes sense when I'm just talk, spoken to. I don't learn that way. I, I need something to see, something to write with, and something to touch. And so I, I learn from a lot of different ways, and so that's why I have visual learning and hands-on learning. Students have been talking about how her teaching style is so different from other teachers. She makes it fun because she can relate to us and she makes different activities for us to do that are fun. Not much different. She just puts problems on the board and you write them down. Not only is she wanting to engage with her students in the classroom, but she's also looking forward to engaging them out of the classroom. I would love to start going to the uh, sporting events and, um, and getting to know more of the students. Ms. Krogh is looking forward to making a big impact in her first year at BHS. This has been Hannah Good for Boone TV. Extracurricular activities have begun, which means the preparation for the annual BHS musical is already underway. I have more on this year's selection, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. The BHS Theater Department is back in production, anticipating their upcoming fall musical. Musical director, Mrs. Salen, has decided to explore a theater genre previously untouched by Boone High. We chose Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, because it's based off of a cartoon, and we haven't explored the realm of cartoons recently with Toy Door Theater, so it gives us a chance to be creative and take it the path that we choose to. One unique aspect of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown is the limited roles available for actors. We only have six roles in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. So we have four males who will have parts and two females, but we'll also have an ensemble of students who get to sing and dance. But I know that will be successful because we have lots of talent and Torridor Theater will definitely pull off another great production. While these beloved characters will be difficult to portray, students believe that they will deliver. So Snoopy is a hard character to learn at first. He is non-humanoid, so you have to first get out of the mindset of being a human and getting out of the society of human route and become an animal that has different instincts than us. So by doing that, you look at old material, old stuff that you can find like the comic strips and learning more about the character and their activeness and using your activeness towards that character. You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown will be performed in the high school auditorium on November 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. This has been Sydney Woodruff from Boone TV. Mrs. Krogh, Boone High's brand new English teacher, is excited to bring her fresh ideas to this year's curriculum. Boone TV's Kale Nave has more on this teacher feature. With the end of summer brings a new school year and some new faces. Many of those new faces are teachers who have fresh ideas and unique personalities. One of these first year teachers is English teacher Miss Peterson. I've always been a bit of a nerd. Um, I loved going to school and I never was one of those kids that would rather like fix sick than be at school. And so teaching was kind of an obvious answer for me. I wanted to stay in school forever. With a new teacher comes new teaching styles and ideas. I teach a little bit of every grade level, so I have English 1, 2, and 3, and so I'm really looking forward to getting some students year after year and seeing how they grow. Mrs. Pearson is impacting the student experience in her own way. 
The students are looking forward to the fun things that she has planned in her English class. The books that we're going to read and the assignments that are coming with them because I think those are quite fun and just passing the grades. Mrs. Pearson is looking to get involved around Boone High. I'm really looking forward to seeing more about what the Hope Foundation has to offer because that's something really unique to this community and I can see it's really going to impact a lot of students. And so that's something I'm looking forward to as well as attending a lot of home games. So. This has been Kale Nave from Boone TV. This past Friday, September 21st, the football team traveled to Humboldt, looking to gain their first district victory. Boone TV reporter Quentin Wilson has your recap. The Boone Toros are at Humboldt tonight to take on the Wildcats. After getting a wake-up call against ADM, Boone is looking to start their district playoff with a win. Let's get to the highlights. After a quiet first quarter opening, Boone made their way within the five-yard line in Humboldt territory. With two yards to go, Tyler Cassati forced his way through the Wildcat line with the help of the Torridor offense, scoring a touchdown. John Runstead then made the PAT, adding seven for the first points of the game. The Torridors kept the Wildcats confined, not allowing them to get a first down, forcing them to punt the ball. Boone slowly made their way into the end zone, but Morgan Smith's pass to Alex Sturtz fell incomplete, restricting the Torridors to a field goal. Runstead then kicked a 15-yard field goal to add three points to the Torridors' lead. Boone held Humboldt to a 10-0 lead heading into halftime. During the second half, the Torridor offense struggled to get things rolling, but Boone's defense continued to hold the Wildcats to a 10-point lead, not allowing them to score. Boone took the win 10-0. You can catch the Torridor's next game at 7.30 this Friday against Carroll at home for Boone's homecoming game. Look for the Boone vs. Carroll game preview on Boone TV's Facebook page this Friday. From Boone TV Sports, I'm Quentin Wilson. Thank you for joining us for this week's news show. We will be back next week with all the latest buzz at BHS. In the meantime, please head over to BoonTV.com to check out all of our latest videos and written stories. While there, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now, from all of us at Boone TV, make sure you stay safe, stay cool, and have a wonderful homecoming week, Boone High. Thank you.